Hello, I am Cadet Jeffrey Shans. And I am Cadet Lane Fincher. And this is our Steganography program, creatively named Stego App. The purpose of our program is to encode or hide a user-created message in an existing picture. Also, our program encrypts your message before encoding it so that even if someone does find, or find the message within the image, they would not be able to read it. So, let's go ahead and uh, get the application running. So what do we want to do? We want to encrypt. So our encryption window opens and it gives us the option to enter our message, our password, and our image location. For both our message and our password, it can be an unlimited length and also can consist of any ASCII character. But note that we're putting these in, the, our program automatically changes whatever we enter into a string. That way you don't have to worry about putting parentheses around all your message. So, uh, once you put the user generated strings into each uh, entry box, take a look at over here on the right, you have different algorithms to choose from. As you can see, you got the Caesar cipher, rotation, veneer, transpose, and our homemade algorithm just for you. If you remember from class, our Caesar cipher assigns every character in your message to another character in the alphabet and swaps them out one for one. Our rotation cipher is, our, is a take on the standard ROT13. However, instead of shifting each character 13 spaces, it shifts it a specified number depending on your password. Our Vignir cipher, very similar to the Caesar cipher, but more complex, uses a matrix of randomized characters instead of just a single string of randomized characters like the Caesar cipher does. Our transpose cipher reverses different segments of your message multiple times, changing which segment it reverses each time. This will yield a seemingly random string of characters. Finally, our homemade cipher is a mathematical algorithm that changes the characters in our message depending on the value of your password. So now that we have everything that we want, let's go ahead and run it. Keep your eye over here on the uh, project folder. So as you can see, we got a, a new volcano picture renamed Volcano 1. Uh, this is the original picture here and this is the picture with the encrypted message. As you can see, they are exactly the same except for the fact that a few number of pixels are modified in Volcano 1 and it is nearly impossible to tell the difference between the two. So if we go ahead and close out of here, we'll go back to our main menu and we'll click Decrypt. One of the cool features about our program is that before encoding the message into the image, it adds a fingerprint to the picture. Our program can decipher this fingerprint we want to decode, and it will tell the program which, de or which decryption algorithm to use. That way, you don't have to put it in again if you forget or if you just don't know. So we'll go ahead and add our password in again, and we'll put in our image location and when we press OK, it should spit out our message. Now looky here. It's our hidden text box. This is your hidden message. This is my message. So as you can see, this lines up perfectly with the initial input. And if we go ahead and close out of here, that's our application. I hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll be I don't know what else to say. Let me crop this out, I guess. Thanks for watching our video. We'll be here all year till lesson 40. <laughs> be here all week. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Let me stop this. So that's our application. Thank you for your time and your attention. And uh, we'll be here till lesson 40. Thanks. I want to take a list or what? Oh yeah, say that. Or we just have... Oh, hold on. <laughs> Part of the prompt for submitting this sneak peek video was that we had to provide a list of 
function or features that we wanted to add to the program before the final submission. Um, one of the biggest things we really want to do with this program is implement a public key and private key infrastructure. This would allow us to send out a public key to anyone and they would be able to encrypt a message, but we only but we would only be able to decrypt it using our secret private key. This would be a huge step forward in our program and would definitely increase the functionality and the usefulness of our application. Also, we are looking at adding a logo to our application in the vicinity of uh, this area right here. We're open to suggestions, but I'm pretty set on making a Stegosaurus just because. I mean, come on. It's the Stego app. And then that's our video. All right.